The uh, global stock take is set to conclude at the UN Climate Change Conference. Now, this is the first time that countries will take stock of progress made in addressing global warming. But no process is needed to realize that keeping warming uh, rather to 1.5 degrees will not be achieved. All the outcomes will be used in planning for the next COP in 2025. Our ENCSC senior reporter, Pamantla Koke, is at the summit and, uh, of course, joins us live now from Dubai uh, to give us the very latest regarding this. And, of course, Pamantla, as we come to you, a very warm good morning from this side of, you know, the world. I mean, COP28 is uh, showing to be quite, you know, not just a talk shop, but more of an urging for all nations to take action. Bring us up to speed to what's been going on thus far. Well, today the real work begins, or should I say it continues or it intensifies. This is a week whereby negotiators will be dealing with technical negotiations. Now that the World Climate Action Summit by the world leaders governments and heads of state is over, negotiators are getting down to business. There are a number of agenda items that will be discussed at COP28. The issue of the loss and damage fund has in a way been cleared, quote unquote. I'm using that very carefully because they still need to hammer the details and integrities of how they are going about, you know, in terms of implementing and making it operational. Yes, a decision has been taken to say it must become operational there are financial commitments and pledges that are being made. This is a fund that will assist vulnerable and developing countries who are ravaged by the impact of climate change to be able to access funding and rebuild and deal with the losses and damages that they would have suffered as a result of climate change.